Uh, where, where do you want me to start with this one? Uh, what an unbelievable game of football, honestly. Uh, I mean, I wasn't smiling after the first half, I can tell you. Uh, I'll just go through the game, but oh man, uh, an absolutely unbelievable game um, of football. Rangers, we're back in Europe. We're at our best playing the Thursday, Sunday. It keeps the team sharp. We all know about the five players who breached the restrictions. Complete idiots. The club, club will deal with that in what they believe is the correct manner, and I will support whatever they decide on that. One thing I want to make clear, though, it's not a mistake. They knew what they were doing, so let's just get that out of the way. Kent, Hadji and Jack drop for Arfield. The returning Alfredo Morelos and Roof. Holander back in for Balogun. And Eaton out. Davis is back in. I think it was Davis that missed out last week I'm, I, in the... League game is Kamara. I can't actually remember. The home side almost in at the beginning of the game, but Rangers survived. Rangers had a penalty claim on two minutes, not given. It possibly would have been harsh. It's hard to really know now what the penalty rule is uh, for handballs. Of course, there was controversy last night um, in the game at Celtic Park. I didn't feel that was a penalty either, but again, who knows. Good pressure by Rangers in eight minutes. Arfield's effort was poor, though. Buta lays the ball across Rangers' goal, then Delat has an effort from long, from long range at McGregor's goal. Buta was a real threat in that first half 10 minutes gone The Antwerp keeper is struggling with his distribution Very poor Challenge on Tavernier by Avenatti Fortunate to get away with that It was a lunge on the Rangers captain And in the end it really ended his game Rangers all over the place in 17 minutes After Barisic slipped But Boya couldn't be found by Buta Arfield saved the day Buta almost finds the back of the net from a poor cross Tavernier's night is done in 21 minutes here is the impact of the missing five. Our natural right back replacement isn't available. And that would be felt in the game. Balogun came on, did a solid job, but he's not getting into that byline and whipping the ball. He's always just looking to pass it back. So we were certainly missing a trick in that regard. Roof almost getting the opportunity in 25 minutes, but he was crowded out. Balogun came on for Tavernier. Morelos misses a golden opportunity minutes later. Then Roof misses a rebound. Was a brilliant ball through. Good run, but a poor finish. Roof through this time in 32 minutes. Struggled to get there. Good play by Kamara a minute later. Dancing through. Cuts the ball across goal, but the keeper deals with it well. It will be a surprise if Roof comes out for the second half. He's really struggling. You can see he's carrying something. 1-0 Rangers on 38 minutes. Arebo gets a goal after Goldson tries to find Roof. The keeper makes a complete mess of it. Then he takes out Morelos, who rolls it to Arebo, who places the ball into the back of the empty net. But the lead did not last long. 1-1. Rafailov crosses a free kick into the box, and it was a brilliant header by Avenatti. The ball flies in past McGregor just on the stroke of half time. An extremely disappointing goal out of nothing, but a brilliant header nonetheless. Rangers were by far the better side after a slow first 15 minutes. Ruth's game is over too. A penalty to Antwerp. This was an atrocious decision. Davis challenges uh, Rafailov. It's a little tap on the back of his heel and he goes down like he's been shot. It's a disgrace. Very soft decision. VAR didn't overturn it. He scores it. It was never a penalty. Where did the extra time come from as well? It was only meant to be four minutes of added time. It was six. Roof was down for probably a maximum of a minute. Uh, the ref is have an absolute shocker in the first half. Um, there were some bad challenges from Antwerp and no bookings. More dodgy keeping by Beren Vand. He really doesn't look comfortable. Rangers break in 53 minutes. Kamara bursts forward, plays in a rebo, who beats the keeper, but it's cleared off the line. And this is where Beren Vand ended up getting injured, and eventually he came off, which was a, a blow because uh, he was awful. Potential penalty to Rangers for pulling the jersey on Morelos. It was a clear penalty. VAR does its job there. Barisic scores a penalty of 58 minutes. Ben and Van almost keeps it out, but to the right of Ben and Van, it's in the back of the net. Arfield forces a save five minutes later. It's all Rangers, but then it was 3 2. Rafailov gets the ball after a mistake by Balogun, rolls the ball to Hongla, and it's a brilliant finish past McGregor. 3 2, 67 minutes gone. This has been a strange night. 10 minutes left. Can Rangers get an equaliser? Golden opportunity for Hadji. Brilliant ball in by Barisic. Hadji should score, but it's just wide. It was 3 3, though. Kent with equaliser in 83 minutes. Links up well, Morelos. Excellent feet by Kent, and he, and he fires Rangers level. A brilliant finish into the top right hand corner let's go win this now Kent almost puts Rangers in front a minute later Balogun drove forward found Hadji played in Kent and he should score but the keeper saves with his foot and then McGregor had to save the day up the other end Hong Glenn at the other end after a mistake by Joe Rebo and an excellent save by Alan McGregor almost 4-3 another dangerous ball in by Rafailov who's been sensational it has to be said the ball almost end, ends up in the back of the net Jack clears the ball off a line after McGregor made the initial save Morelos finds Kent his shot was blocked by Sec it was with his hand a clear penalty 88 minutes he is booked second booking he is off 
Barisic again from the spot, 4-3. Again, he makes no mistake. A seven-goal thriller. And it was almost 4-4. Mayoshi, with a brilliant effort, hits the post. Yeah, I mean, I think I might even need to lie down after that. I mean, that was an absolutely crazy game. Uh, I hope I did a decent job of describing it. I mean, I don't think I could really do it justice. But like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I should have a video for the Dundee United game on Sunday, but it'll probably be... A bit after the game, uh, so I've got to do my radio show. But anyway, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we go back to Ibrox a bit more of a simpler one and uh, we'll win and go into the last 16. Uh, so we were certainly the better team tonight, but just a real crazy night of football, it has to be said. Anyway, uh, have a good night.